This is Python Audio Visualizer. You give it an audio file and it creates a visualization based on that input. And you can layer different components on top of each other to customize the video as much as you want. And as you can see, it supports various different encoder settings, different containers, and video and audio codecs, three different resolutions. Uh, it uses Pillow to layer the different images from the different components on top of each other and pipes that into FFmpeg. And depending on where they are positioned on the right sidebar there is where they are in the layer stack. The video component also has the option to add its own audio on top of the input audio. And it has a distort option here just for fun. Now this program is created with PyQt, which is uh, Python bindings for the Qt GUI framework. And it has a full undo redo history system, so you can press Control Z and Control Y to undo and redo what you've done. It also has a project system, so you can save and load your projects. And it also auto saves in case the program crashes, so you can restore your unsaved changes. So let's split the classic visualizer effect and then show what it looks like when you create a video. It analyzes your audio and then you can kind of see a preview as it's exporting. And all those circles you see on the screen are the Conway's Game of Life component. Now the Conway's Game of Life component actually doesn't use the input audio file for those circles. It actually is this cellular autonoma thing where it follows uh, simple rules that are explained at the bottom right when you select the component. A cell with less than two neighbors dies, a cell with more than three neighbors dies, and otherwise it will reproduce. And with these simple rules, you can create a variety of different fun effects. You can set what your cells look like, set the simulation speed, the grid scale, the color of the cells. You can also set a custom image for your cells. And then whenever the video is being played, it will overlay this Conway's Game of Life cellular automaton which has nothing to do with audio visualizations. So the, it has a preset manager. Now a preset is a collection of settings for a component. So say we have this title text component with the text audio visualizer and this purple color and stuff. You can save that as a preset named audio visualizer and then create another title text component and apply the preset to that new component to get back all those settings. So if you need to reuse the same settings, um, you can do that. And that supports every single setting in the entire program. So let's um, turn our color component to a gradient. Just set some settings here. The spectrum component is actually an FFmpeg effect. So I'm really happy with how this program turned out. It does export videos pretty slowly because it actually is using an image library to create the video. Now the output of this program looks like this, and I learned a lot while making it. And this is a really over-the-top extreme example. You probably wouldn't need to use this program for something so wacky. The actual target audience is something like a podcast that wants to release every episode with a, a visualization generated from the audio. And that's why you can actually use this program from the command line too, and save a project with your various components and then add uh, the audio file from the command line and automate your whole process. So this was Python Audio Visualizer. I'm pretty proud of it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, bye bye.